Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you what is singleton class and how to create a singleton class in Java. So this is one of the important questions which were asked in uh, uh, different companies like Capgemini, Cognizant, Infosys, TCS. So these are the service based companies which ask this kind of questions. So, and this is the question which was shared by our student who got placed uh, in one of this company. Okay, so let us start with the video. So can you tell me what is singleton class in Java? Hello, yes. So singleton class uh, is a class of which you can only create one object at a time. So even if you try to create multiple objects, it will give you reference to the same object. So you can't create two objects of the singleton class. So that is the concept around this. Okay. Can you create your own singleton class? All right. So I'll uh, try to implement uh, my own singleton class. So to create a singleton class, let's try to create a class and uh, name this as singleton. Okay. So this is my uh, class, which will implement your singleton functionality. To create a singleton functionality, I'm going to define a private variable and uh, this will be a uh, volatile, okay? So volatile, and this is going to be a static variable, all right? And I am going to take the reference of uh, class itself because we want to create a singleton class. And I'm going to name uh, the variable as instance. So you have to remember the sequence, private, volatile, and static. You have to make your singleton instance uh, private, volatile, and static. The second thing you have to do is uh, create a private constructor. So let me create a private constructor. So private singleton, okay? The reason behind this is when you create a private constructor, uh, no one can call the constructor from outside and create a uh, object of this class. So that is the reason we are trying to create private constructor. So private, uh, this is known as private uh, default constructor. All right, now uh, the next question is, if you say uh, that the uh, constructor is private, in that case, how will you create the object of this class? So you have to, you have to provide a method known as get instance. Uh, I'm going to write a public uh, static method, okay? And this is going to return the uh, reference of class itself, which is your singleton class. And I'm going to name this as get instance. Okay, so the responsibility of this method is to create object of singleton class and provide object of this class and to create only one object of uh, singleton class. So I'll check if uh, instance, instance is my instance variable, this instance variable is equal to equal to null. So this condition uh, specifies there is no object of uh, singleton class. In that case, I'm going to create a new object of singleton class. Uh, so I'm going to do new uh, singleton. And then I'm going to uh, return the instance of uh, the singleton class. So this method will give me uh, the instance of singleton class. So this is how I will implement the get instance method. Okay, but if you look at this code, it looks like this is not a thread set. Uh, yes, so this is not thread safe. If there are multiple threads trying to create the object, so it might happen that uh, there might be two objects in the memory. So for making this as thread safe, I can uh, make it uh, synchronized. So when I make this synchronized, this method will become uh, thread safe. Okay, you are making it as a synchronized on method level. Do you know double check lock? <laughs> Uh, yes, I know double check locking in which we don't we don't do synchronization at the method level. Uh, we do synchronization uh, only at the critical section of uh, of the code. So may I implement uh, double checking? Yes, please. Yeah. So let me implement uh, double checking. To implement double checking, uh, there is a code. Uh, we just synchronized uh, our critical section. <clears throat> critical section is that part of uh, the code where if two threads try to access that code, your data consistency might be lost. So that code is known as critical section and only one thread uh, at a time should be able to uh, access that code. So let me make a synchronized. So instead of synchronized method, I'm going to use a synchronized block and I'm going to acquire uh, the lock on uh, at the class level. Okay. and. Uh, First, I'm going to, uh, I'm checking uh, the instance equal to equal to null condition at line number 10. 
and one more time i'm going to check this condition within my synchronized block so this is uh, known as double checking of your uh, singleton class okay so i'll create instance within uh, your uh, synchronized block all right and then i'll return the instance so this is known as uh, two way checking in your singleton class and uh, now this is thread set okay uh, can you show me uh, by comparing two objects how <laughs> this is going to be a single turn all right so what i'll do i'll try to create a uh, instance one for example and as we know the constructor is private in that case i have to call this get instance method so singleton dot get instance all right so this will give you instance of your singleton now what i'll do I'll try to create one more uh, instance of singleton. I'll rename. I'll name this as instance two, and uh, singleton dot get instance. All right. Now, uh, to verify if uh, these two objects or these two references point to the same object, I'll do if uh, instance one equal to equal to instance two. So equal to equal to is an operator which checks for the reference. So if these two references point to the same or uh, memory location, in that case, it will it will print this. So sys out uh, objects are objects are same. Okay, and uh, else else in which uh, these two object uh, two references point to different location, in that case, uh, objects are uh, different. Now, if I try to run this code. Mm -hmm. So let me run uh, this code. Objects are same. So this um, proves that instance one and instance two point to the same object in the in the memory, and also it is synchronized. Okay, perfect. It is working as expected. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channels. And let us know in the comment section if you have similar kind of questions, so that we will discuss those questions and share with other videos that's it from this video thank you guys bye thank you guys bye